Hey, with Coach Pickett, after the Lady Demons pick up uh, two more wins in conference. And, Coach, I know from your perspective, uh, certainly an exciting way to win the second game, but um, they were wins, and, and that's the biggest, and that's the bottom line for you today, I'm sure. Yeah, we struggled. We struggled most of the day today. We struggled most of the day today, and uh, we got to be better. Uh, tomorrow coming out here, we're, we're going to have to be able to do better offensively. Um, you know, I just I thought our kids maybe were trying to do a little bit too much today. And um, for as good as they've been today, they struggled. And but uh, we got great pitching from Sage in the first game. Um, and then you know we were able to uh, Bronte come in in relief in the, in the second game and was huge for us. And then Alexis got the big hit we needed. But I was really proud of our kids. We got down three to nothing in that second game. We were able to respond and tie the game. Uh, but we were just a little bit too reactive today and not uh, proactive in attacking the game and, and keeping the pressure on them. And uh, hopefully we'll learn from that and come out tomorrow and, and be able to play our game. Yeah, talk to me a little bit more about the pitchers today. Sage, of course, another complete game, another double-digit strikeout. And what Bronte did to just keep the zeros going uh, to, to give us an opportunity. It was everything, really. I mean, you know, I, you know, we took Maggie out early, and um, you know, it just we were in, a, we weren't hitting offensively, so we could not wait a lot. We were having to play, you know, um, you know, and try to keep them down as much as we could, and um, just got in the game. And Bronte, I mean, that was that's a huge deal. Uh, for her to come in and do that, and then Sage to keep putting zeros on the board. Uh, you know, we let a couple of plays go. Uh, gave, we gave him a couple extra outs, and uh, you know I was, I, was, I was hoping it wouldn't come back and bite us. And she was able to grind it out and get it get it done in that first game. But um, you know I just I just really proud. Of just we're just resilient, and, and you know they kept fighting. Uh, and it wasn't pretty, and you know we obviously we want to play better, but we did get two wins. And anytime you can do that um, in conference play in one day, you, you need to be proud of that. And just for you as, as a coach, I mean, Alexis has been here for four years. We, we kind of know her story a little bit. Uh, not sure if she was even going to get to play this year. She gets a big RBI on Tuesday and then comes back with the home run to walk it off. I mean, what does that mean to you as a coach to see her do that? Well, I, you know, I want every kid to do well. And, and then on top, you know, a kid that's not everything went their way and got injured and be able to have a major knee surgery and, and work as hard as she has to get back and try. And she's not – She's nowhere near 100%, but she's just a warrior. And I'm so proud of her and so glad that, you know, we were able to get that win, her hitting that home run, that walk-off home run. And uh, it's just exciting. And, I, you know, all the girls have the utmost respect for Lex. You know, she's a great teammate, she's a great leader, and everybody knows what, what she's put in and not being able to be out there. Um, and, you know, it, and just she just keeps coming every day and keeps doing what she needs to do and trying to get back for the team. And, you know, I'm ho I am hopefully she'll just continue to, you know, get better and better every day uh, and keep doing what she's doing and working hard. And she'll be a big part of what we're doing down the stretch. All right. Thanks so much, Coach. Thanks.